I'm going to start this video off with a quote. Don't believe in every single face that smiles at you. An evil mind is capable of putting up a smiley face. Now, as everybody knows, we got the terrible Grand Theft Auto news. And I have a story to tell you. I know it's not very significant. I feel like we've all been through it. But let's start eight years ago. I was in college, and I was heavily anticipating in my freshman year the release of Grand Theft Auto V. It was supposed to be the biggest game to hit store shelves. And boy, was I wrong. It was the biggest game in history, and not for good reason. I don't even care if that last sentence made sense. Because this game's starting to not make sense either. You ever wake up at midnight to go all the way walk down to a Walmart in the cold? While under the influence? To pick up a game? Play two missions? Go to sleep? Carry your way through class trying to keep your focus on the professor? I had to do laser focus through three classes and three hours of homework before I could continue the epic story. As soon as I was able to take my seriousness away from my brain and just relax and play this long-awaited game, I played until probably the next midnight. I didn't even eat dinner. I was having so much fun with that story. I remember thinking to myself, man, I can't wait till online happens. And I wonder how far they're going to go with online. And online seemed like a great idea. You get to buy your own properties, make your own money. It was every GTA gamer's dream to finally have. And boy, did I get exactly what I wanted in a GTA online experience. A single character, able to free roam, interact with other characters... And more content came out. We never really got the heist, and when they got here, they were a little disappointing. But it was a full-fledged experience full of planes, fast cars, helicopters, you name it. Then something tended to change. After update, after update, things got a little more strange. Very odd races, custom races... You give me a motorcycle that could fly temporarily? Okay, we'll do with that. A jetpack? Alright, now we're talking. An Oppressor Mark II. I think Rockstar Games had an idea of what they were doing. They knew the nature of some GTA gamers. And this was death by a thousand cuts on GTA Online's part. And I'm just in disbelief. GTA Online seemed like our friend at the time. I don't think that anymore. Now it's a grieving station and they've tried to help it. But we used to be able to lag out our lobbies to be left alone and now we can't do that anymore without an ethernet cable. But they're probably going to take away that too because they want us to tear each other apart. Add in the shark cards and we got a party. Now, if you were to ask me and I didn't know any better, I'd say that Grand Theft Auto made it a death lobby just so that people would tear each other apart, blow each other up, and not be able to make any money via grinding, where you could probably grind $3 million in one day if you don't have a life, just so you could buy $100 for $8 million GTA dollars. But with those shark cards came a serious revenue stream. It was a dead horse that you could beat and beat and it kept spitting out money. This definitely being one of the highest grossing games we have ever seen, if not the highest grossing game we have ever seen. And I guess it's cool, but you can only have so many attack helicopters until you they all start to look the same. You can only start to have so many jets until they all start doing the same thing. Only so many fast cars before you realize they all go the same speed. Oh yes, I got exactly what I asked for. And let me tell you, evil really does come with a smiling face because it was a slow burn and looking back, I was like, what did we just do? Do we blame ourselves for the shark cards? No, it wasn't our idea. But we asked for this and like the devil signing a contract, oh boy, we signed up for it. And uh, we didn't read the fine print. GTA is definitely a death land right now, and people are aching for new content 
or at least a new game because we've had so many new add-ons and it's starting to get a little crazy. Maybe one day they will, will release GTA 6, but uh, eight years later, that's obviously not the case because this game is now spread through three console generations. I'm not even joking at this point. Three separate console generations. I used to play Xbox 360 all the time. Now I play Xbox One when I'm not busy. I really am looking to get the Xbox Series X. Um, yes, I'm an Xbox gamer, so bite me. But this is what happens when the Grand Theft Auto Genie grants your wish. It's working for a corporation that wants to make money and will continue to milk it and milk it and milk it. All because it somehow keeps bringing in revenue. When I signed the devil's contract, Man, I wish I read the fine print, because I am starting to doubt if we will ever see Grand Theft Auto 6. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. I really don't know. But what's going to come with this Series X slash PS5 reboot? In all fairness, I don't know. But we, uh, I feel like we asked for this. Now, it's never too late to turn back. We can stop at any time. That's up to you guys, the gamer. This is probably the most produced game uh, that's been out there. So I've had to make probably the most big effort I've made into editing a video. My sentences aren't making sense anymore because I'm just dumbstruck. But we asked, and my oh my, I will never keep asking for more and more again because when you are at the feast of a game content cow like gta even after you're full the parent that is rockstar will keep stuffing you and stuffing you until you die of gluttony thank you very much for this self-loathing video i'll see you next time